goals and we all do something throughout the day. Either we run the day or the day runs us. It all depends upon us. How do we make the day productive enough for us to get the best out of the day? My name is Anil Thomas and today I'm going to talk to you about how do we set weekly goals. There are some people who would get up and have a lot of goals for themselves but do not set it. They would just expect the day to go well and fine for them. There are some type of people who would set really hard, tight, rigid goals. The problem with setting real hard, rigid goals are that there's going to be too many interruptions. You need to leave space and room for the day to have its own dynamics evolving into your plan. Now when you adjust to that now when you have room for this you're going to be successful because not only are you going to fulfill your goals you also have time and room and space for everything and everybody that comes to you if that is important to you while you set goals it's important that you align your values to your goal it's important that you position important people in your goals your family your career your health your goals your personal goals your business your social equities your finances everything a goal which is exclusive and not inclusive of everything that you have is a goal definite to fail. Have a goal which is inclusive of everything in your life. You want to write a book? Include that. You want to exercise? Include that. You want to spend time on a holiday with your family? Include that. You want to go and watch a movie? Include that. Include everything in your goal sheet. Plan a day's goal, plan a week's goal. Make sure you have a whole week aligned in front of you. When you come into the habit, the practice of setting goals daily and weekly, I'm telling you, you not only get closer to your goal, you also achieve it. Have a goal that gets you started to a whole new life of dynamics, equities, relationships, wealth and health. When you plan your weekly goals, make sure that you include in that everything that is important to you. There are certain activities which directly is connected with your main relationships, your core values and your great business opportunities, your sales probably, or that which is important for your own life appraisal, for that which is important for your own self-growth. Include that and make sure that you spend nearly 30 to 40% of your whole day spending on your core values, core relationships and that which gives you maximum sales, business, self-growth or appraisal. A goal which doesn't include this is an operational goal. You are working hard, you're on the treadmill, but you're not going ahead. If you need to go ahead, if you need to measure your progress and if you need to quantify that which is important to you, make sure that you write a goal which is important from your personal appraisal point of view, sales point of view, or core relations point of view. Otherwise, you may spend weeks and months and years and at the end of some years when you look back on life, you'll realize that you've done a lot but not grown enough. A goal which doesn't include your growth story is not a goal. Include growth in your goals. Check everything at the end of the day, at the end of the month, at the end of the week, at the end of the year. Check everything, schedule everything, monitor everything. Now you know what to do, what to repeat, what to edit, what to delete. This is an effective goal setting program. If you just liked what you saw, hit the like button right now. And if you want to see more of such interesting videos, subscribe to our channel and keep the notification on. Write to me in the comment section and let us know what is that you want to hear more on the immense and infinite possibilities of the human mind. Up until the next time we meet, bye.